one of my favorite stories uh, that I'd like to open with, and some of you I, I suspect will remember this, took place in India a number of decades ago when the, uh, the English had colonized India and they wanted to set up a golf course, which was for many reasons probably not a very good idea. But one of the big reasons was because, as it turned out, uh, golf in Calcutta had a, this obstacle of these monkeys that would go into the course and take the balls that the golfers were golfing around and toss them everywhere. And it really, really upset the uh, probably mostly guys that were playing golf. So they tried to control the monkeys. And their first way of trying to control the monkeys was to build these high fences around the fairway. Now, monkeys climb, you know. So they would climb up the fences, and it, was, it just did not work. So the next thing they tried was to lure them away from the course, you know, whatever. I don't know how they lured them, kind of waving bananas or something. But, you know, for every monkey that would step away, you know, all their relatives would come and join them in the fun. So in desperation, they started trapping and relocating them, and that didn't work either. It just, they, the monkeys had too many relatives that were into this. So... Finally, they established a novel rule for this particular golf course, which is that golfers in Calcutta had to play the ball wherever the monkey dropped it. <laughs> now, they were on to something. <laughs> this is, this is uh, what they might call Dharma 101. You know, this is basic teachings that... As we all know, um, we want life to be a certain way, right? We want the conditions to be just so. And life never cooperates. Or it does maybe for a while, which makes us want to hold on tight, but then things change. And so what happens is that we, the monkeys are dropping the ball where we don't want them to be dropped. And if we're to find any peace, if we're to find any freedom, our job is to learn to pause and say, okay, this is where the monkeys drop the ball. So we can see, you know, all the ways in our personal life, it doesn't cooperate. You know, we, we have losses, whether it's our bodies getting sick, our people we love having trouble, whether we run into an addictive relapse, whether we have a divorce, whether we lose our job. You know, it's the ball's dropped and we just don't like where it is. And then we can see it globally, how this life doesn't cooperate. This year, um, just the tsunami in Japan and the horror of what happened with the nuclear proliferation, they're just really, really scary. And what's happening... In so many places, I'm right now so struck with the, the prediction of 12 million people starving in Somalia. And I, I'm seeing nodding heads. Unless we really pay attention, we might not be aware of children, families, just at a massive scale suffering. So it's global. The way it just, this life isn't, isn't the way we want it. And the question is, we can't, change that it happens in some of the big ways. I mean, there's way, things we can control, but primarily the teaching is it's not what's happening, it's how we respond. 